Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would just share with you the dresses which I have recently bought from Pretty Little Thing. I do also have a few other things I have purchased which I would love to share with you but I will put them at the end of the video so make sure you carry on watching to see what else I have bought. So I will just jump straight into the video for you. So the first dress I purchased from Pretty Little Thing is this beautiful black little dress here. Obviously um, it is a floral material. I am absolutely loving florals at the moment. Um, I feel like it's all I'm purchasing really. So the floral design is a lovely white flower with green leaves. Um, I just think it looks so beautiful. It has a skater style skirt at the bottom so it's lovely and flary it has a bardo top here so it's off your shoulders so if you do wear a bra with it you could see the strap so i would probably try and get a strapless bra unless you don't care about your strap showing um it has some cute little frills around the top as well i just think it's so pretty on a dress and it has that on the sleeves as well so the sleeves are like a puffy style too absolutely beautiful honestly i'm so glad i found this dress and it was only 13 pound 30 i'm pretty sure but i will link it down below the actual price i paid um but yeah it also has a lovely bow here so you just tie it yourself but this is just purely for decoration. It doesn't um, tighten the dress or anything like that. It's just to make it look even more cuter. I actually purchased this in a UK size 8 and it did fit me. So I would stay true to your size. I wouldn't size up and I wouldn't size down. But yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. So I would just pair this dress here with some cute black strappy sandals and a cute black bag as well and um, I will show you what it looks like on just for reference I am only four foot eleven it comes I would say about in the middle of my thigh so it's perfect length for me and my age um, but obviously it was not in the petite range surprisingly just because I think it is really short on me and um, normal average sized girls it might be a bit too short for use but yeah honestly it is just so beautiful so i'll go and put that on for use now next dress I bought was this beautiful pink dress here I'll try to show you as best as I can on the camera but I am struggling a bit and um, but I will try it on in a second anyway so it's just a lovely pink dress here it is a high neck as you can see there I've just put it on a Primark hanger for the moment and um, it has some lovely shoulder pads as well which surprisingly I love about it usually I don't like them but on this dress it's beautiful and the shoulders puff out a bit there as well at the ends I'm not sure if you can see but yeah so it comes down obviously it's it's tight at the waist and it flares down into like a layered skirt I'm not really showing you this well let me move the camera down a bit yeah so it has a lovely two layered skirt here too honestly it's beautiful the um model on pretty little thing actually looked amazing in it so i have high hopes for this but yeah i feel like this would be lovely if you were going to a wedding or a christening just any nice formal event um i would probably pair it with some nude shoes so i have some nude court kind of shoes which i'll pair it with um and a pink nude bag as well just a small one though not a huge one so it does actually zip down at the back i'm not sure if you can really see that and um, so you can just slide it on 
I actually purchased this in a size 8 again and it fits perfectly so again I would stick to the size that you usually buy. Um, I believe this was about £22 but again I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah honestly I just think it is the cutest dress ever and it is very formal. The only thing I would say about it is the sleeves are a bit long on me so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, I'll have to have a think of what I can actually do with it but it is beautiful. So just a quick add-on before I go and try it on for you. Um, the material of this dress creases really easily so for instance if you were going out anywhere you couldn't just throw it in a bag and then get it out otherwise it would be creased. Um, I feel like you would have to have it hung up um, or have a steamer with you or an iron or something like that so I would if you do buy it I would just be aware that it creases like crazy. last dress I bought from Pretty Little Thing is this lovely old white dress so it is similar to the black one in style it's just a different um, material like pattern on the material so again it's just a lovely cute bardo dress with lovely frills at the top and again you have the bow tie here and um, again it's just for looks it doesn't actually tighten the dress or anything like that um, the sleeves are the same as the black one so they just go on your arms and they are like puffy beautiful and they have little frills there too and again it goes down into a skater style skirt the only difference really between the two dresses are the pattern like I said already so this one has um like pink flowers on and then the green stems um i actually bought this i didn't realize i had the green stems on and uh, because i didn't zoom in i'm not sure how i feel about it i do think it is really cute to be honest with you and for 13 pound 30 pence i will be keeping it but yeah it is very similar to the black one just in white so again I got a size 8 in this dress and um, again it does fit so I keep to the size you usually are because it probably will fit you. It is the same length as the black one so it comes about the middle of my thigh. Again perfect length for me and my age and um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to wearing this one. I'll leave the link down below for all of these dresses by the way. Um, but for this one, I would probably style it with some white strappy sandals and probably either a little cute pink bag or a little cute white bag. I do love my June basket bag at the moment. Um, I'm not sure where she is. I think she's been put away. Um, but yeah, that's what I would pair it with. I will just go and try this on for you now. other things I have bought um so during the summer time I always want to moisturize my face but I, obviously I have my makeup on so I don't want to ruin it with moisturizer um, and it's actually been really hot this year in the UK surprisingly yeah we've had some nice days so I've just went to Superdrug um, and I purchased this vitamin E skincare hydrate and mist just here um, I'm yet to give it a try but honestly I'm really really excited it sounds amazing um, so I'll just read a little bit of it to you just I have been recently a false tanning and I read on google that it can dry your skin out and you would need to moisturize more often with that so 
when once I have my foundation on and everything, I can't really slap moisturizer on. So I feel like a hydrating facial mist would be fabulous. Um, but yeah, I'll just read some of the back of it. The back of the bottle it just says vitamin E hydrated mist with soothing aloe vera instantly revitalizes and tones the face, giving a boost of moist moisture in each spray. Honestly, that sounds so good. Um enriched with naturally sourced vitamin e which is a powerful antioxidant that will help to shield your skin against environmental damage and premature skin aging by combating the harmful effects of free radicals so basically i think i'm gonna love this so much i already use antioxidants in my skincare routine um just because I've read up about free radicals and I got a bit freaked by them. So I'm going to be probably spraying this every two seconds by the sounds of it. Um, but yeah, I just don't fancy getting wrinkly really. I want to look after my skin. Um, I say that and then I don't even moisturise half the time because I'm just too lazy. Um, but yeah, it also has vitamins A, B, F and H as well. So... I'm going to test this out and I'll let you know what it's like, but it sounds absolutely amazing. And I believe it was only, I think it was only 3 99 as well. They had an offer on where I got two for £6 though, so I actually got two. So the first thing from Jasmine Silk is this lovely silk eye mask here. Um, let me get it out the packet. Oh, it feels so all good i've never actually had silk before so i'm really excited purely because it's just so expensive um but the health benefits for your skin kind of outweighs it i guess um so it's meant to help you with um your wrinkles and stuff like that so yeah that's what it looks like it comes with a adjustable strap as well honestly it feels amazing it looks really good quality too um i'll just read a bit at the back um so yeah it just says that it is a hundred percent mulberry silk filling and um, adjustable strap and you can either hand wash it or machine wash it and um, but at 30 degrees uh, celsius as well but yeah i feel like this is just going to be my go-to now just mainly block out the sunlight and even as she says on the back that it softly caresses the delicate eye skin and the natural amino acids present in the silk are thought to be beneficial for the skin. The next thing I got from Jasmine Silk is this lovely pillowcase here. I'll just open it up for you. I believe this one was called the Oxford pillowcase. There was two types of pillows you could get this one was the oxford one where it has like the extra material around the edges and i think the other one i can't actually remember what it was called i'll try and link it on the screen for you um but yeah this one was the more more expensive out of the two but i did want extra material just so that it had more show to it um but yeah i really can't remember what the other one was called but I'll just open this up. Oh, it seems quite big, actually. So, if I'm honest with you, it does actually seem really big. Like, I don't have a pillow that big. I mean, maybe I have weird pillows, I guess. But, um, yeah, it honestly feels amazing. I'm scared of clicking or anything with my nails. I'll have to make sure that I look after these just because they're expensive. But, yeah, it's, it's absolutely a beautiful material. I'm not sure if you can see the stitching just to show you the extra material that's on it but yeah again I just got this because it's meant to be good for your skin but I will try this out and yeah I'm just super excited for it to be honest um so everything which I, I got from Jasmine Silk I got in the colour ivory just because it will match most colours is everything for this video hopefully you have all enjoyed it and um, please like comment and subscribe if you would like to see any more of me hopefully fingers crossed that you do and um, i hope i will see you all again in the future 
um, if there is any video recommendations which you would like to see just leave them down below and I will have a look at that but for now that is it from me so thank you so much for 